Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, we're live here from Workday Rising in Chicago, Illinois. And we're very excited to be here. The Adobe Sign team, this is our third time at Workday Rising. And every year, it gets bigger and better. Workday is building a great community of HR professionals, of IT professionals, really dedicated to improving the lives of employees and new employees coming into the Workday companies. Before I go through a quick demo of how Adobe Sign works with Workday, I wanted to talk a little bit, a bit about the partnership. Um, like I said, three years old, we're still finding new ways to help Workday customers really drive a lot of efficiency um, with their Workday deployments. Um, we have a lot of great customers who are using um, Adobe Sign with Workday. Um, and <clears throat> the reason why it works so well is that Adobe Sign is actually integrated into the business process framework of Workday. What that means is any module, whether you're using procurement, inventory, student, recruiting, payroll, any, any of Workday's many modules for success, Adobe Sign can be implemented across all of them. Any of the business processes of which there are over 400, um, Adobe Sign can be just a step in that process. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is specifically about recruiting and HCM modules. So the recruiting module, Workday's solution for talent acquisition, uh, and Adobe Sign really helps streamline the offer letter, letter process there. And then after someone's already a, an employee and they get, you know, we have some great employees that get a raise, how Adobe Sign can help with that compensation change workflow. So let's start off with recruiting. We have two characters. Jacqueline is our recruiter and she's hiring someone named Samuel for a new role. Jacqueline's job really consists of um, making sure offer letters are ready to go, verifying all the information, and moving them forward. What you're seeing here is kind of a standard offer letter template that is in place for this company. Um, Workday is doing all the work up top. It's pulling in the title, it's pulling in the comp, um, pulling in different fields on the candidate profile. And the bottom here, what you're seeing right now is kind of the hard-coded, what will become the Adobe Sign product in a few steps. Um, all of this is preset by your HR ops team, so recruiters are not worrying about what's in place here. They're just kind of reviewing it, making sure it looks nice, and then executing it. Jacqueline's gonna go ahead and submit this. She thinks it looks great. And now we're gonna see the business process within Workday taking shape. It's gonna actually route this to its next step. And that's over to Sam, um, who's super excited to be hired by this new company. Uh, he gets an email in his regular Gmail inbox. He logs into his Workday Recruiting Candidate Portal, um, and he sees that he has an action item on an open application at this company. He clicks into that, and this is where you start to see Adobe Sign helping out with this Workday business process. Really, uh, what you're seeing is rather than having to print off the offer letter, sign it, scan it, fax it, email it, whatever you're doing right now to um, accelerate that offer letter process, it's now happening inside of Workday with Adobe Sign. So Sam's gonna click on that link and he now sees that offer letter and you see here that the uh, old text jargon that was here, the text tag, is now a signature block for Sam to sign that agreement. All Sam has to do is click into that and he's got two options here. And it's actually most of our products, um, we have four options. You can type it out and have a font applied to you. You can draw, actually draw it with your mouse. Uh, we also have a way for you to upload a photo of your signature. And we actually can even use your mobile phone. You can have Adobe Sign text you a link, sign on your phone, and push that signature back up into the product. It's actually very cool. Sam's going to go ahead and type it out, and he's actually going to press click to sign. That's the legally binding signature part. So this is where Adobe Sign is helping facilitate a legally binding auditable e-signature on this document. Once Sam presses that, he's finished. And he gets to um, press OK, finish out that process, gets a congratulations sign. Very exciting. He's now hired. Um, so that was a brief look at kind of the candidate experience for an offer letter. What happens after that process is over is that signed offer letter is transferred to Sam's candidate profile inside of Workday. It's attached to his record. It can't leave, it can't move. Um, it's now permanently um, you know, stored within Workday. So if it ever needs to be referred to in the end, it's right there on the profile. Let's fast forward through Sam's candidate and employee lifecycle and jump to when he gets promoted. 
um, he's getting a compensation change, and that's also a process within Workday. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to skip this slide real quick and just jump right to the um, demo slide. So instead of Sam, we're going to talk a little bit about Joey. He's our um, candidate getting a new compensation change, and Jake is actually our new um, hiring manager. Let's start with Jake. He's the one who recognized that Joey is doing a great job and he deserves a raise. So what Jake's going to do inside of Workday is navigate to his team. He sees Joey right there. He's going to navigate to Joey's profile and drop down the menu, go to compensation, and select the business process for requesting a compensation change. So this is all the things that the hiring manager does to manage a team and make sure that their employees are happy and successful. He kicks off this process. Um, he verifies a few things. There's some you know, pre-described <clears throat> reasons. There's the employee name. This is still all of the Workday product working its magic to streamline these processes. Um, what happens now is that you know, we're in the actual business process execution stage, and Jake's going to go ahead and edit the salary information of Joey, type in a new salary, and push submit. And that submit button is what kicks it to the next step which in this particular Workday business process is that Joey reviews and agrees to his new compensation. So let's switch places real quick and go to Joey. As you may have seen, he's a vice president of sales. He's on the go a lot. So he's actually going to be working from his iPad. Works the same way. Works very effectively. Uh, so Joey's going to go ahead and open up the Workday application. He's going to navigate into his profile and sees that he has an, actually a notification in his inbox. He's going to navigate there. He sees that he actually has a compensation change to review and approve. Opening that up, it shows him that his options are to e-sign this with Adobe Sign. He taps that, and he's brought to the predefined compensation change document that is stored in Workday. Similar to how you saw with the offer letter, this is not something that Joey can modify. He can't change anything. It's all a standard um, agreement that is uneditable by any of the signers. He just has to navigate down and apply his signature. In this specific example, there's only one field for Joey to fill in. But in theory, he could have many fields. He could have several fields. And he's um, actually only required in this demo to do a signature. So he's going to go ahead and click into that. And because he's on an iPad, he's going to go ahead and write out his signature. Um, they ask for his name first, and they ask for his signature. And he's going to apply that to the document. Once he looks at it, he's reviewed everything. He's going to click this click to sign button, which again is that legally binding process to get the signature complete, and he's going to move forward. Once he's finished, he gets a great um, success indicator, and that business process moves back over to Jake. And this is how it's configured by the HR ops admin. They say, you know, in a compensation change business process, it goes from the hiring manager to the employee, back to the hiring manager and then it's finished. So Jake logs back in, has a notification in his inbox, opens it up, and he has the same call to action right here, go and e-sign this document. Opens it up, he also navigates down to his section. Again, he only has this one field to fill in. He does that, he chooses to type out his name, that's perfectly fine. He pushes apply, same concept, click to sign, and once he presses submit, that business process is complete. That business process may trigger you know, a new business process that involves payroll. It may trigger something where um, you know, someone else is alerted about this change. But that business process is done, and it's all done within Workday due to that Adobe Sign and Workday integration. Another great thing to note is that the document and all documents, like I said, are stored directly inside of Workday. So you never have to wonder you know, where are the records kept. They're all on the candidate profile. So if you navigate to Joey's profile, you go to his personal tab, and you go to the documents, you see all of the documents that Joey has ever signed. All the ones that he signed, anything he's acknowledged through Adobe's Acknowledge tool, sorry, through Workday's Acknowledge tool, any other documents that have affected his employment at this company are stored in this section. And that's a standard feature of Workday. So we talked a lot about Candidate Portal and how new employees can leverage Adobe Sign to get uh, converted and, and brought on board faster. We talked about compensation change, part of the average employee lifecycle. All of these things are really enabled by Adobe Sign and Workday. Um, partnering with Workday has been very 
validating for us. Our company actually uses Workday with Adobe Sign to execute all of these processes and more. Um, and we're really looking at new ways to help our employees engage well with Workday. So we've been having a great week this week. It's been very busy. Um, Workday has got a great audience and uh, we're looking forward to talking to you guys more over the course of the week as we talk more about Workday. Thank you for joining us and we'll speak with you soon.